NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center and the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory are creating a new generation of smart, versatile robotic landers for exploring the moon, asteroids, and other airless bodies in our solar system. As small as a golf cart, but big in performance, these multi-use landers will enable a variety of exciting missions. The landers can carry science instruments to study resources on the lunar surface and gather information for future missions to the moon. They'll also make possible an international lunar network to answer fundamental questions about our moon's geology and the development of the solar system. This network could monitor moonquakes and other geophysical activity deep inside the moon, providing clues about the structure of its crust, mantle, and core. The landers can be launched separately in a small launch vehicle or together, up to four in one launch aboard a larger rocket. Four landers could target four separate landing sites, for example, two on the near side of the moon and two on the far side. Whatever its mission, each lander will control its own landing, pulsing its thrusters to slow and orient itself as it touches down upon the lunar surface. The landers will use either a combination of solar arrays and batteries, or the advanced Stirling radioisotope generator to power their instruments and equipment. Either way, they'll be hardy enough to withstand the extreme temperatures of the long, frigid lunar nights, and they'll be capable of at least six years of continuous operations on the moon. These landers can touch down on a crater's rim or floor and collect soil samples, or they can venture into the dark, probing crater depths to excavate secrets. How much water ice do the craters hold? What other useful materials are there? These next-generation landers can help solve these mysteries and more, allowing NASA to embark on a new century of science and exploration.